Hello, welcome back. So in this video, what we are going to do is to have a hands-on uh, tutorial. And for that purpose, we are going to use a Jupyter Notebook. And the Jupyter Notebooks that I will be presented, presenting throughout these video tutorials will, will be available later on in, in our website. Let's um, uh, uh, recap and remember um, the resource assignment problem that we were trying to solve and then we are going to review again all the, the implementation of the LP problem using the um, Gurobi Python API and then we are going to do a little bit of um, uh, what if scenario. We are going to create a new scenario and run it, etc. So uh, the problem that we want to solve, the, the RAP problem that we have uh, at this point, uh, has three job positions, test, uh, tester, Java developer, and architect. And we consider three resources, Carlos, Joe, and Monica. And the data that we have for this uh, particular RAP problem uh, are the matching scores. And the matching scores are reflected by this uh, table. And remember, the matching score reflects how well an employee can perform a job. And we have made uh, the assumption that only one resource can be assigned to a job, and at most one job can be assigned to a resource. And uh, the problem uh, that we are trying to solve is to find the assignment uh, of resources to jobs the, in such a way that each job is fulfilled and uh, at most one resource is assigned to a job and we want to maximize the total matching score. So the, uh, this cell here uh, in Port Gurobi library essentially will take all the Gurobi uh, library and uh, to make it accessible for, for this uh, Jupyter notebook. And then when we, are the, when we were defining our data, we decide to define two lists. Uh, list, the list R will contain the resources, Carlos, Joe, and Monica, and the list J will contain the um, jobs, tester, Java developer, and architect. And I will take the opportunity here to introduce a little bit of mathematical notation that in general when you are reading mathematical optimization uh, papers or you are looking at Jupyter notebooks and all of that, you, you should be able to relate very easily the code that you see with the, or the math that you see with the code uh, in the implementation of, a, of our Jupyter um, Python API. So, for example, these, um, uh, what we have here are in R means that uh, for each index in the set of or in the list of, of resources uh, we are considering those, those, those jobs and we are just using these uh, symbols J in J which means we are referring to the list of, of, of jobs here. And we have here this uh, multi um, uh, function that is defined, we have the combinations of resources and, and, and jobs and these combinations are used as keys of the dictionary and the values that we have in this dictionary are the matching scores and we have explained that in the past. So the first thing that we do is to declare and initialize the model and so we are creating a model object n and the name of this model is going to be uh, wrap. And then um, we have defined our decision variables and we were using the adverse method and the adverse methods were defined over the combinations of resources and, and uh, jobs. And these variables will be defined in the object x and the name of the variables is going to be assigned. So mathematically, uh, this, this instruction or this line of code that we have here really is telling uh, that um, we are defining the, the variables of the, uh, defined over the set 
of resources and over the set or list of jobs. And then uh, the job constraints, uh, we were using the add, uh, the add constraints method and uh, we were using the xsum uh, method to define uh, the left hand side of the constraints. So the left hand side of the constraints are the summation of, for each job, the summation of the resources uh, that may be assigned to each of the jobs and then this is an equality constraint and we are going to define uh, job constraints for each of the jobs that we have. The name of the constraints are, uh, is, is called job and the object that will capture all the constraints, all the job constraints is also called uh, job. And just to show how these, uh, um, these uh, constraints that we have here defined by the add method, the mathematically we, we can use uh, or we use a symbol sigma to, to, to have the summation of variables. So this add constraint uh, method that we have defined here can be represented mathematically in, in, this, uh, in this way here. So for each job J in, 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 this, in the set or list of jobs, we are defining one constraint and that constraint is defined over the sum method. And that's what we are doing in this, uh, uh, with this uh, symbol sigma. And we are taking the summation of all the uh, variables associated with job J and resources uh, are, are in the list of resources. So for example, for the job uh, tester, this summation will be tester job and it will be x11 if we assign tester to, to Carlos or the job uh, tester to Joe or the job tester to Monica. So this, this summation is, is the same as this symbol here. Um, similarly, for, for, the resource, uh, for the resource constraints, we are using the add constraint method. And for the left hand side, we are using the exon method that for each resource in the list of resources, we are taking the summation of all the resources that the, of all the jobs that can be assigned to this resource. And in this particular case, uh, we have a less or equal constraint, meaning that the resource might uh, not be assigned to a particular job. And mathematically, this is the way that we we'll express this, co this constraint. And for the objective function, uh, we are using the set objective uh, method and the linear expression of the uh, objective function, we are using the x product uh, method uh, defined over all the matching scores. And essentially what we are doing is uh, taking each element in the table of matching scores and each element in the um, uh, table of decision variables and each cell in each, in each product, in each table, we are taking the product of, of all of them. So uh, with uh, this uh, set, uh, 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 set object um, uh, method, we can define the linear expression of the uh, objective function and the direction of optimality is to maximize. So that's why we are using as the second argument, the GRB maximize um, argument. And uh, essentially this, um, another way to, to express mathematically this objective function is represented here, if you are interested in, in relating the way that we can represent uh, using the Python API and the associated math uh, for that. Um, this instruction here, this function, basically will write a file that we are going to call the wrap.lp and this will capture in memory what is the problem uh, that we want to solve. Uh, essentially, it will capture the decision variables, the constraints and the objective function. And then the optimized function defined uh, uh, over the model object M will call uh, the Grover library and solve this, this, this problem. 
So as you saw last time um, when we were giving the presentation, uh, the optimal solution was to assign Carlos as a tester, uh, Joe uh, as an architect, Monica as a developer, and the total matching score, score was 193. So let's uh, make a change. Suppose that we have a new resource now, and this new resource is going to be Ada, and Ada is really extraordinary. She, she uh, can do all the, the three jobs at 100% at, at, at uh, productivity. So what we are going to do, rather than reformulate it, the whole uh, model object, we are going to add this new resource with the matching score and also add the associated um, decision variables uh, uh, associated with ADA and the jobs and also the constraint uh, associated with the new resource ADA. So to do that, the new scores will be defined uh, by the dictionary where ADA as a tester will get a 100% matching score, ADA as a Java developer will get a 100% matching score, and ADA as an architect also will get a 100% matching score. So we have this new dictionary here, and this, uh, this, uh, this code that, that we have here, uh, essentially what it will do is to add the variables associated with ADA and, and each of the jobs to, uh, to the constraints or to the job constraints. So uh, for each, uh, for the developer, uh, uh, for the Java developer constraint, uh, we have a new resource. So we, we need to have uh, ADA as the new resource and also uh, 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 for each of the jobs we need to to, to add these new decision variables. And also we, here we are adding